All right, this is a silver cell. It uh, uses electricity to uh, deposit silver on the cathode. Let's go over this. This is my anode basket. This is where I will capture precious metals and other things and slimes, which will stay in the basket. And the silver nitrate, the nitric acid will dissolve the silver here and it will go through the membrane, the cloth. Uh, the silver ions go towards the cathode and that's where they um, you know, stick to the surface, okay? So there's a little boundary here and there's a boundary here where we have ion transfer and um, the hydrogen, excuse me, the nitric acid and the nitric atom is what helps this transfer, okay? So the anode boundary and the cathode boundary, and then we have the ions going back and forth, okay? And so those silver ions are deposited here at the cathode. And this is how I clean it up. You can see some of this shot is impure. It's got a little copper to it. Um, some of this cemented out really well, but some of it isn't. Um, and we use it to clean up and capture the slimes. I have some examples of silver that is sterling that has a lot more copper. And if you hold tight, we'll take a look. And what we have here is more impure silver. This was a piece of silver that was silver, uh, sterling silver that I straight up melted and poured into an ingot. And this was just a piece of uh, sterling silver from a candlestick or a coaster rather. And this was from a fork. There's some, but you can see some examples of real high copper where I, I guess I didn't wash it that well. And then we'll see uh, what, what my plan is. I've got to mix that up with um, silver that I cemented out. That silver I cemented out on a copper bar, I think that's probably anywhere from uh, 98 percent pure and some of it was from the uh, silver chloride conversion years ago that I had done that just sat around so that stuff's pretty good we're going like I said we're going to probably have to mix up some of this to run through this you don't want to have too much copper in that to foul the solution and then start plating out but I think we've got enough in there to run for a while so I'm torn do I mix that up or do I run it through a smaller cell as a dirty cell later? So we've got to come up with that. But this is growing silver at home. Silver cell, day one. And uh, right now I'm running at a half a volt and 0.73 amps. I'm running just a little lower. But the crystal growth, I will think I want to just try and keep any of the pressure. I want to keep the platinum and stuff in, in the basket. And we'll just see how the growth is. I'm not in a rush. But I am running out of silver rather quickly. This is a six liter uh, stainless steel pot that I picked up at Goodwill. But that's it, growing silver at home.